Yep, this is a grandkid in case you didn't know it is just walk right over him casual. Hey guys, what is you on about? Welcome back to another part of The Sims 4 Seasons LP. So as you can see, um, we're actually starting off not in the best mood possible, as you can see. She's literally just so problematic this morning. I don't know what's going on with Lila, but I guess today's not her day. But today is Thanksgiving, so we will be celebrating Harvest Fest, which is basically Thanksgiving. And we're just going to be living that life. And we actually did pay our bills off camera. I actually removed quite a bit of stuff. Like I had to delete the pumpkins and just delete a whole lot of stuff just so we can pay our bills and how a nice time during this thanksgiving holiday season so off camera um i was actually thinking about like what i want to do in terms of their relationship because i don't really know like how this is all panning out in terms of like rekindling old flings with old lovers of his and i don't really know what i want to do with them yet but i was thinking and i was like you know lila's a woman of her word she's not going to take all this cheating drama and all this problem and all this like extra stuff in her life when she doesn't need to have it so i think she's gonna go and we are gonna break up with calvin so you might be saying like girl like why would you break up with him like this is a season lp it's supposed to be my family you know what i mean but i mean that's just life like not every family is perfect and i really want to emphasize that in this lp and show that there are ups and downs in relationships and that literally not every single like relationship is perfect and that there is problems and stuff like this does happen so i just wanted to emphasize that and just show you guys like what the 411 is you know what i'm saying so i think today we are gonna call off like what they're doing because they aren't engaged because for some reason i thought like they were married for something i don't even know why but i really just thought they were married and i don't even know why but for breakfast we're gonna go and cook a grand breakfast and that's something that's actually a part of like the whole aesthetic uh, not the aesthetic but of like the goal oh she slammed that down and it's like a part of the whole goals for um harvest fest to do a grand meal so we are going to be doing a few of them but you know even if they are breaking up for thanksgiving i do still want them to try and work things out oh, for cameron gotta... because in all honesty they're it's all for cameron like uh, that's their kid uh, you know what i'm saying their kid they had together sucks. when they were in love and stuff and that's just what they're going to try to do and make things work but also considering the fact that they're not married for some reason i thought they were um it makes it kind of easier because it's not a divorce so it's just like breaking up but they start uh, it, but they still are going to be living in the same house so that's also something to consider and he's flirty for some reason which i don't quite get like you're with your kid right now when you're flirty oh Harvest okay so it says for harvest us we have to decorate we have to do some holiday gnomes we have to cook a grand meal and we have to have a thankful spirit and it's also lila's birthday and she's gonna be aging up today so there's just a lot like there's a lot happening you know what i'm saying so i think today we are gonna be throwing a dinner party so i'm gonna go and we're gonna go and plan a little social mother truck and event and we're gonna plan the social event for today and we're gonna have a little dinner party you know just invite the whole fam bam over it's we have a lot of fam Family. like a lot of family it's kind of scary how much we have like extended family goes a long long way and it's kind of confucius you know what i'm saying but yeah we're gonna invite everyone over people are gonna have to take some turns eating because you know it's a little bit scandalous right now and people are gonna have to sit like on the floor or something you know what i'm saying oh why is there a freaking bird in my house okay great oh but i guess one of the gnomes popped up so we can actually appease the gnome and we can give it coffee a toy a salad pie a feature cube and fruit cake we can also sing in a song so i think i want her to actually go okay girl first go and take a little tinkle take a little tinkles in the minkles and we are going to have a dinner party and it's going to be lila hosting it because i want to do a lot of the cooking we're going to make chrissy teigen bob macy reggie mortimer um where's our family scarlet even eliza i guess and where are your family actually lila knows majority of everyone so i'm gonna let lila do this you know she knows everyone i wish for when you were planning a social event they would merge like what people know like what relationships the sims have so it's easier and you can invite everyone all from one list like how it was in the sims 3 but i mean it's us whatever so lila you're gonna be hosting a zena party and you're going to be hosting it the guests are going to be Ashley, Cassandra, who is still dressed up in her Halloween costume, her entire family, Reggie, Macy, Bob, Scarlett, and we're going to invite Eliza and some of other friends. So, yeah, we have 10 people coming and we're going to be at the sort of residence over here. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, I didn't get to set the time. Oh, no. End it. End it. We're going to redo this. So, in order to get the timed one, you have to go to the freaking thingamajigger here, here, 
invite everyone again oh i'm pretty sure now it's going to show me everyone right yeah it's going to be at the sort of residence and the time is going to be at 6 p.m so yeah in order to get the timed one you know you gotta um make those money move or whatever and where did the gnome go i swear these gnomes always be scaring me they just like all over the place oh now they're inside my house you are gonna piece a gnome and we're gonna give it um some pie because who doesn't like pie you know what i'm saying oh my god there's another one oh my god there's three of them i'm scared of this i'm really scared we're gonna give you a fruit cake give you a salad what do you want what do you want from me are you happy are you happy with me oh wait no i didn't talk to them yet okay everyone come and get your food oh yay this gnome is happy with us and he gave us some su oh some seasonal summer plants we definitely gotta get some of that okay what about over here? Oh no, this one's mad. Oh, he's, he broke my sink. I hate you. I hate you. Why did you break my freaking sink? Why would you break my sink? Okay, you need to go upstairs. Instead of taking a little tinkle, you need to go and sleep because you was mad quiet. And I want to sell the plants, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, it's $100 that we're probably never going to get back. So I'm going to sell that to kind of compensate. I'm pretty sure you have to sell it from like the inventory or something i like the build and buy mode because you can't like do it from your inventory well, cameron is upstairs what the heck we're gonna go and just break up with calvin and he has to understand why we're doing this and the reasoning behind this it's like it just has to happen you know stupid branca cribbo oh I know, I know. I know it's intense. They just broke up with Lila and they just broke up with Calvin. So we're gonna beg for his forgiveness and he has to know like what's the tea. You know, they are still friends, so they are still doing this, you know, for their son after all. So I'm just gonna go and sleep and I'm gonna have Calvin, you know, have to go go and help out. Go and um throw this away, okay? Then go and clean up this grilled cheese. Yeah. They're gonna clean up this Absolutely. green salad and all that stuff. Go and appease this gnome. Give us some stuff we broke. We broke within a joke. What do you want? Um, you want some coffee? You know, it's the morning time after all. What is he feeling like? Break your blues. Our relationship coming to an end is a sad event in any Sims life. Oh, it's so sad. But honestly, it had to happen, okay? Like, you cannot deny that it was not supposed to happen. You were wrong for what you did, you know? And that's the that's the consequences, you know? I'm confused about why Patchy literally just moved by himself. Like, I'm kind of confused. Patricia, why did you just... Patricia, why did you just move by your freaking self? Like, I don't get it. Always oh, having a great harvest day. How is she feeling? She's not too good right now. She's still sleeping. She's still doing her, okay? And I'm gonna let you, um, you need to go and give a bath to the dog because the dog is literally disgusting. Kit Kat, you is man nasty. Like, oh, I feel so bad. Kit Kat, you go to, like, the vet and stuff. Ooh, he's mad. Oh, he got some winter seeds. All right, perfect. Because since fall time is coming to a close, I am gonna sell one of the winter ones, but I also want to keep one of them. Because in my live stream LP, I've been, like, switching out the plants according to season. So in the greenhouse, it's, like, the plants that are in summer that when, like, it's in winter, you can't really get out of, you know what I'm saying? That's what I've been doing. And you need to go give the dog a bath. Like, give the dog a bath. I swear to God. Okay. You also need to go to sleep because, you know, it's a little crazy. Oh, excuse me, child. Excuse me. What is this responsibility? This is not supposed to be happening right now. You know what I'm saying? And when do you age up? He actually ages up in five days. So we still have quite some time. But, you know, we get none up there. We get none up there. Go and stop. Clean that up. And I'm going to have you going downstairs. Also clean this up. Go and mop up all these puddles. And I want her to go and bake herself a cake for her birthday. Because, you know, she's getting out older and stuff. Which is so sad. Like, she really over here getting old which is oh, my heart my freaking heart we're also gonna go and give kit kat a little short um walk oh yeah, bob pancakes was to come over but i don't think we're gonna do that today we're actually just gonna invite him over once we have our party thing going on okay everyone's just like such in a bad mood and i can't stand it patricia get away from me get away from me i would appreciate it if you can like help around the house but get away from me why do these people want to watch the tv like why are you all in here i'm confused i want to go and light the fire because i don't think we've ever lit it yet like we have not lit it yet what are you doing oh i was about to say if you were near my child if you're near my freaking kid oh and i guess dylan decided to come and pull up on the blog why is he just here let's go give him a funny introduction be like sis we never met but like i had a kid with your sister you know what i'm saying yeah, like, what's up? Wow, what's the tea, girl? Okay, so we're gonna go and be thankful with him and just tell him, like, how thankful we are for, you know, our kid and stuff. Just be so nice about it. You know, gotta get this, share the harvest of spirit. Why are they literally just awkwardly not talking to each other? So I'm gonna let Lala get up. Oh my god, look at Patricia being so helpful. How 
kind of her. Okay, so we're gonna go and cook a grand meal because, you know, it's basically time for this freaking feast. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go and we're gonna serve up a turkey dinner and we're gonna have Calvin come and head home. Go and head home. Um, dinner party starting. Let's start. Okay, I'm just gonna cheat up his, um, freaking thingamabobber because I don't want him being, like, all up on his moods for this freaking party. You know what I'm saying? Come on, go and head home. Okay, so I think we're gonna go and invite over some people. So we're gonna invite over Reggie. We're gonna invite over Scarlett, I'm pretty sure came over. And Eliza can come over, even though we don't really like her too much. Um, Jay can also come over. Oh, Jay's here. Chrissy Teigen, you have to come over too. Yes, Macy, she's here. Okay, so I think we kind of got the whole sister squad. All right, so I think we're going to go and I'm going to sell some of the stuff in here so that I can actually afford to get like a stereo or something because I feel like it's always nice having some thankful bombs or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So let's go and get some nice music going in here. So I'm going to go and get some bops. I'm just going to put like this, like all up on the table. And I'm also going to go and light the fireplace as well. So I'm going to light Calvin. You can over here light the fireplace. Thank can go and turn on the tunes you know what i'm saying let's go and turn on some winter holiday <gasps> guys wait let's change it change the um change change it change the next song <gasps> oh my heart she's so happy i love this oh look at scarlet just all up in the car let's go teach her how to talk camera you need to go up and go and talk to your cousin go and be like girl like not extreme violence her but girl like what's good do toddlers and other toddlers have interactions? Can you like not go and talk to her? Girl, get down here. All right, this party is a little lackluster considering the fact that, you know, we aren't too happy on the scale. But we're going to go and thank this girl for coming, Macy. I forgot her name for some reason. But we're going to brighten her day. And we're just going to talk to her, kind of vent to her a little bit. Be thankful for what we have. And look at Eliza. Yep, this is a grandkid. In case you didn't know it, it's just walk right over him. Casual. So I'm going to let Cameron come downstairs. Cammy, go and talk to Scarlett. This is your cousin. You guys don't know each other yet but you will oh i love this this is like so homey so cute. yeah oh dylan's really cranking it Ew. okay so now we're gonna go and put the turkey in the center because you know it's time to eat or whatever so we're gonna go and i'm gonna let everyone come over here and i guess people just already decided to start eating which kind of annoying but whatever i want everyone to come and sit here so now we're gonna go and call everyone to a grand meal because it's time to eat sis it's time to eat it's thanksgiving okay all right it's time to eat so everyone come and sit down you know me have to take a little seat might have to sit over there or whatever eliza you can come and sit oh eliza really went next to ashley like girl what is this stinkity stinkity mess oh so adorable but i don't think they all know that you know there is a breakup going on so it's like kind of awkward seeing this whole thing because they don't really know like what's the tea sis so everyone come on go and get your food oh look a little cameron eating oh my heart he's so why is he looking at this girl's ass i'm kind of confused cameron um okay good to know he's really tired so i think we're gonna go and just put him down to sleep so let's actually go and talk to ashley and be like girl thanks for coming you know how do you like the food does it taste good joke about the old times about when we would have thanksgiving at our old house even though we didn't because we didn't have seasons then but we're not gonna talk about that oh liza's excluded as usual i love it oh why'd you get up girl he's about to throw yourself in the fire why would you put it oh for a second i thought she put her plate in the fire i was about to say was about to throw some hands and see her oh my gosh Ooh, it's kind of scary okay i guess I, I guess they're done you know this kind of was like kind of a weird harvest fest but we're gonna go and clean up a little bit i'm gonna let calvin actually go and help out and you're gonna go and put cameron to sleep go and read cameron all the way to bed and ashley's a foodie and I'm surprised you did not know that about your own mother all right so the dinner party's over and we still have some family over right now and i guess they're just listening to the music harvest fest was successful harvest fest was awesome calvin had had a wonderful time and got to do everything he planned to do and the same thing for lila Oh, girl, you're really about to piss this out. Not the time. Not the time. Okay, so we're going to go again. You're not done cleaning up. Go clean up that. Then you can go take a really quick shower. Take a little steamy shower. Harvest Fest is freaking over. You know what I'm saying? We're just dimming everything down. And Cameron, why are you so low? <sighs> this freaking kid. This kid will drive me. This kid is the end of me. Like, literally the end of me. 
Okay, you need to go give Cameron a bubble bath again. Oh, guys, Lila just aged up, and I literally forgot, literally forgot that she aged up. She really thinks she ought to. She's like, sis, look at me now. But yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna go into Creedison. I'm gonna go and give her a new low oh, girl. I don't even know what's up with my what's up with my game right now. But we're gonna go and give Lila a New York, a New York, a New York. Alright guys, so for Lila's new appearance, I decided to go for like a whole up to kind of moment and it's kind of make her look like mature because then again it is Lila and she's not really the type to you know be all out with like makeup and like really be a face, you know what I'm saying? She's kind of like, oh yeah, I'll throw in a little lip balm and maybe a little eyeliner and, and do some mascara or whatever and just kind of see what that's all about because you know she's more into like getting in the nitty gritty and hands on and not really focus on like her appearance if that makes sense so okay can you literally just like do what i say why do you keep coming in here go and do this jeez there's need to make some money moves girl but today i don't really know what i want to do because you know it's kind of awkward still with freaking oh my god why are all the gnomes sleeping with him i'm confused i'm confused about that i don't get that <laughs> whatever um but they still are on not the same page and they don't even really know how to talk to each other or even how to like approach each other and say good morning so it's like really like really awkward and i think i'm gonna have lila work from home today and what do we have to do we have to research some gardening and reach level six of the gardening skill so we should probably do some research you know what i'm saying i don't even know why my game is lagging that is not cute but we are so close oh we just reached level six so it says lila is becoming a true artist our agriculturalist and is now able to weed plants in a larger area <gasps> what do you mean can we use the freaking weed whacker i really want to i really want to whack my weeds bitch <laughs> Let me whack my weeds. but i want to actually go ahead and get us a new garbage can because we can afford the one that gets us the coins you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna get the one that makes us these money moves we are broke now but it's gonna be worth it you know what i'm saying like so worth it because now we can make money about getting rid of our food thank you very much thank you very much so we're gonna go and weed the area i want to see you weed the area then water all these plants please just show me show me how to weed whack <laughs> Weed wackers, she brought the whole thing out. Oh, oh my god, my heart. That made me so happy. You have no idea how excited I was for this thing. And now that we have it, I've never felt happier. And I know we had it since too, so it makes me even more happier because they brought it back. Robert, interest earned. What? Robert earned $1,703 from investing this week. What? We can do investments and I don't even have a robber in my inventory, in my inventory, in my household. Where are they getting a robber from? Girl, we need to get like um, a freaking computer. Because I don't even know who this robber person is, but I'm going to need to know like real quick, like real freaking quick. I'm just going to move some stuff around so we can make some space in here because it's a little, it's a little crazy. It's like kind of cramped, but at the same time, it's like, you know, we have like a lot of things going on at the same time. So I don't really know. We have to wait to afford a computer. So yeah. And I want to get a new TV as well. There's just so much we have to buy. And do you, don't you even have work? Like, you have a job. You have work in six hours. Always been off. That's why. Mm -mm. Interesting. But I'm going to let him get up and just work on his comedy skills so we can get that up. And we don't have a mirror anymore. <sighs> right. Um, mm -hmm. 
Girl, let me just tell some of these seeds or whatever. I'll move that in there. Um, let me just sell these summer seeds. Sell this summer seed. Sell that. Sell these winter seeds. Just give me all these coins. I'm, I kind of want to leave the gnomes because they are giving me money. So I think this is going to be like my little cheaty-ish way of getting money in this game. Especially in this household. Because I feel like it's so hard to make money. Especially in this household. Because we don't have like... um. A proper like secure job you know what i'm saying like our job is basically big stuff of income of gardening and the gardening is kind of unpredictable because sometimes it can go well sometimes things can be over harvested sometimes everything can be spoiled and i actually want to go and head over to the flower shop and probably go and bring some flowers for um our mom and just you know be like mom you know here's a little here's a little flower for you you can go and do what you want you know she can sell them if she wants keep them with her we're actually gonna go and do we have anything to harvest like any um flowers to harvest because i know it's cheaper once you harvest flowers and then like you can just use those flowers that you have in your inventory um but we're gonna go and make an arrangement and we're gonna go and do some bluebells and we are gonna do some bluebells just some little ones then i want to also go and do another one we're gonna do some roses as well for her we're just gonna go oh, these are really expensive okay roses are a little pricey so we're not gonna do that but you know it's all right so we're still gonna do these roses and yeah hopefully she doesn't die because i know it's like kind of bizarre but your sims can literally die from this stuff oh no don't tell me we have bills oh we got some starter vegetables i'm gonna sell both of those things for the money honey we needed it we needed it so bad oh like so bad oh i love it i love when people give me free stuff like thank you thank you very much i'm pretty sure it's from like liam i'm pretty sure it's from our parents too you know so let's just go and do this hurry up but really with this lp i really want to explore all the aspects of seasons but also build a storyline with this sim because you know with lila she's she's always been like the quiet one especially in my sims 4 lp and i really want to bring her out of her shell in this lp and just make her shine you know i really want to add some drama add some flair which we are starting to do but you know it is pretty dramatic right now but if you guys want me to get them back together and if you could come up with a scenario to get them back together maybe like, patricia could be like involved or maybe we might have to kill like the girl he tried to like get with like tell me what you guys want it's just like i want you guys to have some control in this lp and kind of add to the fuel or fuel the fire as they say you know what i'm saying all right guys so we're now here at Serta collections and look how pretty magnolia promenade is in the fall time like i love the f i love the leaves like on the floor like on the streets and you can just walk all over here just go and do what you want like this is so pretty but i think we're gonna go and give lila and but i think we're gonna go and give ashley the flowers that we just got so ashley where even is she girl where you at where is she oh she's up here okay so ashley i don't even know who she thinks she is walking all about that but we're gonna enthuse about botany with her just be like yeah we like this too you know okay i want to give you these flowers you know we made them for you from our own little garden even though we bought them but that's completely fine we're not gonna talk about it Aww. <laughs> Oh, she's so sweet. I love her. They're just so happy. I love the relationship. Like, they make me so happy together. Let's go and give her a hug, too. Oh, you get for the second one, too. Yeah, double whammy, says. Alrighty, guys. But I'm going to go ahead and end off this part of The Sims 4 Seasons here. I hope you all enjoyed it. In the next part, I don't really know what I want to do yet. You know, I probably want to start decorating for Christmas because, you know... <laughs> I'm all about that. You know I'm saying? If you guys want us to get back with Calvin, make sure to tell me down below because I don't even know. Like, I don't even know. Like, is he even worth it? Like, would you go back with someone after they cheated and you have a kid with them? Like, would you? Would you give them a second chance? You know, I don't know. But tell me down below. I love you all so very much and thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video and yeah, bye!